Hey tribe, what is the vibe? Welcome back to As I Am Tarot. I'm Kay, <clears throat> and I am here to do a reading for the collective. Holy Spirit, I ask that you give me clear, concise, accurate messages for the collective. Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect me from anything that is not of the holiest white light. Anything that is not of the holiest white light, please do not allow it to come in. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. So, I haven't been posting any videos for a while because I feel like I've been going through my own, like, spiritual stuff. And I don't know. Like, I had some things happen to me yesterday, and I feel like I don't know what's going on. But if you guys have been waking up with, like, scratches or, like, hickeys on your body um in soft spots like soft parts of your body then we're gonna do the same stuff <laughs> okay but you know i'm protected and i pray so the weapons form but they don't prosper um and also yesterday <clears throat> i had the strangest thing happen to me um I had I saw a white light pop up in front of me as I was unlocking my door. It popped up on the wall, like to the left, to the right of me, a, a perfect white circle. Okay, and my boyfriend put the light on because I was like, "What is this light?" So he thought I said turn the light on, so he turned the light on, and I was like, "No, no, no!" He turned it off and it disappeared. So. I said, you know what? <laughs> Let me come do a reading for you guys because I'm pretty sure it's not just me. But I feel like that was my my spirit guys and my, you know, ancestors letting me know that they're around. So basically not to worry, which I already knew. Okay. So let's see. Let's get some um tea leaf cards for the collective just to see the energies. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. We have happiness, success. Okay. Goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Okay. We got January camel persevere and you will overcome problems so basically i feel like you have happiness um in your future okay you're about to have success an, an increase in material and or spiritual growth and you just got to persevere i feel like by january is saying that everything is gonna come into fruition by january okay now let's see what Tarot has to say, and I already shuffled the deck, but let's see what Tarot has to say. And then, if anything, we'll see what else I, I, I feel like pulling at that time. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's going on with the collective? What is going on with the collective right now? What are these happenings? The world. Okay, so a lot of cycles could be completing. Um, <clears throat> the world also represents happiness, and that was the first um, tea leaf card that came out. So there's definitely happiness in your future, okay, collective. <clears throat> Success, accomplishments, okay. Like this, I mean, you guys are seeing it yourself, okay? <laughs> what else? Some of you could also be completing a, um, some, wow, we got the four ones. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I feel like. This, I feel like, 
Like, I don't even know how to... Okay, so let me put it like this. I'm picking up, like, if you've been... Let me tell you something. The devil comes for you hardest when you're about to get blessed. Okay? So, if, in fact, you guys have been dealing with these weird things happening to you, you know, and you're just discovering things on your body and things like that, um, understand the devil is nervous right now. Okay? With all of this popping up, you got the four of wands. The four of wands is like stability, right? Then you have the world card. The world card, that's success, that's abundance, that's completion of cycles, that's happiness. Okay? The tea leaf cards, the first cards that I pulled, happiness, success, increase in material and or spiritual growth. Persevere and you will come, you will over you will overcome problems. Okay. Now, what else? Holy Spirit. Uh-huh. I can, you can't make it up. You know, I don't, I don't, I let the cards fall as they may. And I see nothing but greatness come in. Okay. I was having a conversation with my friend today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the wheel. So yeah, I feel like you guys are ex- about to experience some good karma. Okay. So for all the goodness that you've been ex- expressing for all the good that you, you know, the kindness, the compassion that you've been given to others, you about to get all of that back and spades. The world, four of ones, the will. Come on now. <laughs> come on. And it's going to come quick. Okay? Okay. You're going to be, you, you, you're not even going to, like, it's going to be spontaneous. All right? I was saying something before and I forgot. I lost my train of thought. But, um, yeah. The devil gets nervous. When God is about to bless you, the, the devil gets nervous. And he sends his minions to, to do the most. So don't worry. God got you. Okay? God got you guys. <sighs> we got the hangman. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. My energy right now is on a 1,000. Okay? Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. Not necessarily. But, um... I feel like you guys are about to experience um, a lot of shifts, okay? If you're not already experiencing it, you guys are about to experience a lot of shifts because of the blessings that's about to come into your life. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. This energy is intense. Okay. Guys, when I saw that 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 light pop up in front of me, I was I was not afraid at all, but I was like shocked and I was confused because it's like it popped up. It's just imagine like you know how it looks when you okay. We have six of swords in the reverse. So um hold on, let me say what I was going to say. You know how when you turn a, a flashlight on and it like you just point the flashlight at the wall and you turn it on, the light just comes out of nowhere. It was like that, but there was no flashlight. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, we have the six of swords and the reverse. So um, I feel like for some of you, you guys have been um, stuck in certain situations um, and not wanting to let go. But I feel like once you let go of whatever it is that you've been hanging on to or you've been af- afraid of of letting go for whatever reason, maybe it's stability, maybe it's whatever, whatever your reasons are, that's what's blocking you. You need to understand that once you let this go, your abundance is going to come rushing in, okay? We, we got the eight of wands at the bottom again. All right, what else? Holy Spirit. Yep, you need to let go. Of these burdens all these burdens because if you this is what I'm saying like if you don't the, the refusal of letting go or, or letting go of your comfort zone or, or stepping outside of your comfort zone is what's causing you 
the burdens right now, okay? <clears throat> what else do we have? Holy Spirit. In my culture, we have this thing called a sukunya. It's spelled S-O-U-C-O-U-Y-A-N-T. And, you know, like when I told my mom and I showed her what it was, we have the eight of wands, but it came out in the reverse. So, yeah. Yeah, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not willing to, you just, you blocking your own blessings, basically. Like, I feel like some of you are, you just, you refuse to let go of something. And this is what is stopping you. This is what's keeping you stagnant. Look, you have all this waiting to come in. Hmm. Look, we have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is what I'm saying. Your ships are waiting to come in, but you like you need to let go of something, okay? Yeah. I also try not to do too many videos when I feel like the energy is pretty much the same as the last video that I posted, you know? So, but after the things that happened yesterday, I was just like, okay, I think I was to yeah the hermit yeah some of you have been going in and some of you need to go within to figure this out I mean I don't <clears throat> yeah your abundance is wanting to come out but you gotta you you know God helps those that help themselves you gotta do your part in order for God and the universe to do his part and their part his part her part you know you know Whatever you believe in. Hmm. I'll be so upset if this, <laughs> if this, yeah, Queen of Wands. Yep. Yeah. Some of you could be <clears throat> thinking about um, embarking on a new business venture or something like that, right? Hmm. For some of you, I also feel like when it comes to whatever situation it is that you're in, I feel like you have you're looking at it with like rose tinted glasses. It's really not what you're making it out to be. You you've seen it how you want to see it, but that's not really how it is. Okay. What else? Yeah, and yesterday we had a new moon. So, you know, for me to wake up, we have death in the reverse. So, for me to wake up, like I was saying, for me to wake up with those things happening and those marks on me after the new moon, it's not a, it's not a coincidence, okay? <laughs> These people just don't understand I'm protected, so they're just gonna keep trying. It is what it is. Hey, who am I to tell? A fool, that you know, forget it. I don't know the word, the whole saying right now, and my, I'm I'm too turnt to even think about it. Anyway, we have the death in reverse, right? So I feel like, like I was saying, you are somebody is resisting the change. You're resisting change, and you just you basically you're resisting the blessings that God and the universe has for you. Like, come on, <laughs> okay. You have to do your part in order for God and the universe to do its part. I know it's not, it's easier said than done, you know? I get that, but listen, fear itself is a hindrance, okay? Because 
if you take fear out of the out of the equation most of the time a lot of people would be doing a lot more things that they wanted to do it's just the fact that fear stops people from doing a lot you know what else do we have for the collective We have the king of wands. So, <clears throat> okay, this could be male or female energy. Take it how it resonates. But, yeah, we have the queen and king of wands. Okay, so this very well could be your twin flame, which is very well why it is so difficult. But all I'm saying is, if it's not working... You got to let it go, okay? If it's causing you more hurt than happiness, then nobody says you have to be with your twin flame. You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't have to be together. But I don't know. I feel like for some of you, this person is this partner, this person that you're, that you're dealing with. They have a way of... um like putting a spell on you that's what i'm getting i don't know could be just how they look at you you know but this person is sneaky you know you can't trust this person as far as you could throw them this person probably be spying on you they probably spy on you let me stop let me get my, my language my vernacular together <laughs> This person probably spies on you, okay? Because we had the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck just now. <sighs> now, I don't know. If this person is sneaky and they spy on you, then that just means they're doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. Because the only time people spy... Is when they're doing stuff, or you know, they they're doing stuff they know they're not supposed to be doing. This person is very tactical. Okay, this person could have air in their chart, fire in their chart. Okay, what else? The King of Swords. He's powerful, but he's tactical, and that's that's just what. Um, pop up. <clears throat> this could also be some of you guys too. Your energy, um, about how you're gonna move, how you're gonna, you know, how you're gonna strategize this. You gotta be methodical about it, type. You know, it's like you gotta. It's like it's not a situation where you could just as easily leave it's, it's a situation where you have to be methodical you know um what else because this person is not just about to let you just go like that which is probably what makes it hard as well to let go because they don't make it easy but yeah you got happiness coming. You got happiness coming. Okay? But it's like, damn. It's like you know it, but you're trying to hold on still. You would... <sighs> All right. Come on. What else? I feel like you know on the other side of you letting this person go or this situation go, this job, whatever it is, um, it's, it's happiness. I feel like you know it. I feel like you feel it. But it's like, do I really want to take that chance? Okay, it came out in the, in the reverse. So, And we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse too. So we have the Two of Wands in the reverse and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So, yeah, I feel like you're scared. You're scared to do... Mm, you're scared to, to, to take that step. I don't know if you're like insecure about how well you'll be able to do without this person. I feel like, I don't know if, if it's because of financial 
issues that you, you can't leave or I don't know, but I feel like this is a long overdue situation. And with this ace of wands in reverse, somebody's having erectile dysfunction. Somebody's not performing well sexually. I mean, hey, I just here to deliver the message. Okay. What else? We have the Ten of Pentacles. So you definitely are going to have abundance, whether spiritual, um, you know, tangible, material, you know, financial. But abundance is coming, as we already knew from the beginning of the reading. Okay? Definitely. You have so many cards here that represent success and victory. It's like not even funny right now. Knight of Wands, yeah. So I feel like this person that you're dealing with is like a play of energy. This person does a lot of spontaneous things. Like they don't think before they act. And that type of mentality is dangerous, okay? Because if you're not even thinking about yourself, then you're definitely not thinking about anybody else. So we have Temperance, yeah. There's a need to balance things out. <clears throat> but I feel like um, with this temperance card here, I feel like spirit is actually like helping, you know? I feel like slowly but surely, you're probably feeling like, you know, you're getting insights, just downloads, just messages from spirit telling you what to do, how to move, you know? Like what steps to take, what 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 actions to take. And you might be a little hesitant, but <clears throat> that's why spirit is helping you. It's almost like they see that you're not gonna move, so they gotta they gotta put some pep in your step. We have the five of swords. So I feel like I feel like you feel like you don't some of you feel like you don't want to let this go because yeah it's a codependent a codependent relationship it's toxic you don't want to let it go because I feel like you feel like you've invested so much in it money whatever energy time love you know and it's like almost like you feel like you don't want to walk away without <laughs> without you know reaping yeah but it's a tower so this is not yeah things are gonna change spirit is coming in to change things around because you over here holding your head because you was trying to hold on to something that's not good for you. It's like you're your own worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? And spirit is like, you know what? Enough is enough. Okay? Strike that shit the fuck down. Okay? They, they're doing what they got to do because you're not doing what you got to do. Okay? Yeah. They're coming in to balance things all the way out. <clears throat> All right. Any more messages, Spirit? The Magician. Yep. It's all about manifesting what you need to do. You guys have natural talents. You guys got to put that 
that natural god that natural god given talent to use okay <clears throat> and the things that you've been wanting to manifest is going to manifest but you got to that tower got to come first that that tower got to come down first you guys boy i feel like some of you are just defiant when it comes to letting go of this person it's like you know what you have to do, but you don't want to. I don't know um, how else to explain it. It's like you know what you have to do. You know what you have to do. You know very well what you have to do, but you don't, you're not trying to do it. Because it's like, I don't want to go try to find nobody else. I don't want to go try to find another job. This one is I'm comfortable with this, even though it doesn't make me happy. It does not make me feel fulfilled. Okay, well, then that's not what God wants for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, you know. Your intuition has been telling you this. You know. <sighs> yeah, it's time to walk away. Eight of Cups. You know. You know it's time to walk away. You know it's time to walk away. Okay? <clears throat> now, it's nothing to, like, you sitting over here crying over spilt milk because why? You feel like you didn't get what you invested in. And, and that's fine. Sometimes you win some and you lose some. And sometimes you just got to take that L because that's the sacrifice you got to take. Or that's the sacrifice you got to make to go towards your happiness. I, I've had to take an L or two and it's cool. You know, I've learned from my L's. I turned my L's into lessons. Okay? So, it's all about perspective. Yeah. That was at the bottom. <clears throat> heartbroken. So, you sitting over here being heartbroken and crying over spilt milk but at the end of the day baby you got good things coming in so you know it's all good it's all good it's all good we have the emperor and the two of pentacles <sighs> You guys have the ability to do what you need to do to balance your life out and bring everything into your life into balance, okay? Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? A Virgo, anything else? Before we close out. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here, guys, and I'm going to get some Wisdom of the Oracle. I'm going to get some messages for the collective in regards to this reading, Holy Spirit. Archangel Oracle, they're telling me to use. So I will. Okay. Two more. Thank you. One more. Okay. <clears throat> so we have passion. Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. We have Counselor, Archangel Azriel, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. And yeah, with this High Priestess card, you probably have, you're probably very in touch 
with your intuition and you know for some of you you're probably very connected to spirit or your higher self right okay um we have clairvoyance archangel raziel i am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love which that was probably not it okay like i said with the temperance card spirit is like okay you know what enough is enough it's time to step in and do something about this all right all right guys if you resonated with anything anything at all in this reading please click the like share and subscribe button i will greatly appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next one love you later